This morning, President Trump doubling, doubling down on his comments, telling Democratic Congresswomen to, quote, go back to where they came from. Democrats firing back, accusing the president of using xenophobic and racist language towards the elected officials, all women of color. ABC's Megan Tavrizian is in Washington with the latest. President Trump's comments directed at four minority female congresswomen getting a wave of angry reaction from Democrats and 2020 candidates. Over the weekend, Trump tweeted for the women to go back and help fix the totally broken crime-infested places from which they came. The congresswomen, all women of color, come from Cincinnati, Detroit, and New York City. Only one of the group, Representative Ilhan Omar, a Somali refugee, was born outside the U.S. She fled civil war as a child and is now an American citizen. On Twitter, the Minnesota representative accusing Trump of stoking white nationalism because you are angry that people like us are serving in Congress and fighting against your hate-filled agenda. Ayanna Presley of Massachusetts responding, this is what racism looks like. We are what democracy looks like, and we're not going anywhere. Democrats have been quick to condemn the president's comments, calling them xenophobic and hate-filled. I am freaking appalled that the president of the United States conducts himself in such a disgraceful and racist way. It is absolutely racist and un-American, and it is an old trope. But Republicans have been largely silent. Today, Senator Lindsey Graham, a close Trump ally who golfed with him over the weekend, just, defending just, uh, him on Fox and Friends. We all know that AOC and this crowd are a bunch of communists. They hate Israel. They hate our own country. Aim higher. We don't need to know anything about them personally. Talk about their policy. The white nationalist website, The Daily Stormer, said the Trump tweets are, quote, the kind of white nationalism we elected him for. And despite the criticism, the president doubled down, tweeting, quote, the radical left congresswoman should apologize to the country. Megan Tavrizian, ABC News, Washington.